So just the other day I did a video talking about the Raspberry Pi Zero that just came out and the chip, the $9 computer. And I got your input on what you thought of the two projects, both brand new, that most people don't have them yet. But I wanted to bring up another topic that I hope to get one of these computers in the near future and do a video on it. I'm not gonna say what it is, but I'm gonna tell you about it. If you think you know what it is, comment below and see if you can guess. And uh, maybe some of you know what I'm talking about already. So I just got back from Fosicon last week. Fosicon, the free and open source conference over in Orlando here in Florida. Had a great time, got to hear Richard Stallman talk. I got to ask him a question. He was very rude to me, it was great. Um, but, um, out of all the talks at the conference, there was one that blew my mind, again, on a teeny tiny computer. Now, cost-wise and capability-wise, not nearly as cool or as useful as the Pi or the chip. I'm talking about a teeny tiny computer that is about this big. I mean, the entire computer is about this big. And it runs from about $30 to $50 and you may already own one and not realize that it's a Linux computer. They have anywhere from eight to 32 megabytes of storage. I'm sorry, eight to 32 gigabytes of storage. It's running a 200 megahertz processor with 30 megs of RAM. Again, Wi-Fi built in. And again, you may already own one. They've been out for years and you may not even realize that it is a Linux computer. Again. Usefulness, they are not as useful as the chip or the Raspberry Pi, and the, the price is, is 10 times, well not 10 times, but well, actually 10 times the price of the Raspberry Pi Zero, about five times the price of, of the chip computer. Um, so I hope to get one to do a video on, just because it's so cool to know that you can get a Linux computer about this big that runs on three volts, volts of electricity, Wi-Fi built in with up to 32 gigs of storage. And again, you may already own one. Um, so I hope to do a video on it if I end up getting one. And if you think you know what it is, comment below. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think, see if you can guess what it is. Maybe you already know what it is I'm talking about. Uh, so comment below, let me know if you know what product I'm talking about. A few different companies make it and Teeny tiny, 200 megahertz, 30 uh, megabytes of RAM, and anywhere from 8 to 32 gigs of storage. Uh, and you can get yourself a uh, rooted Linux shell on it. You can run web servers on it, share files. You can probably get SSH up running on it. Bunch of things network related. That's about all you can do with it. Uh, very limited to no peripherals besides the fact that it has Wi Fi so you can remotely log into it. So, let me know what you think. I want to see what you guys can guess. Or maybe you guys know of other products, not the one I'm talking about. Comment below. Let me know. I want to see what you think. Thanks for watching. Again, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video because I want to hear what as many people as possible can say. I want to hear. I love little tiny arm devices. And um, I just love seeing what I can make a minimal uh, computer can do. So thanks for watching again. Have a great day.